Jason, thank you. And even as Troy Balderson claims victory, Danny O'Connor says the results are still too close and he is not conceding. NBC4 reporter Ted Hart caught up with O'Connor this afternoon in Clintonville. He's live now with what he had to say. Ted. Yeah, Danny, Danny O'Connor was out today thanking uh, people for their support and shaking hands with folks, introducing himself, campaigning now for a November rematch. Daniel, oh, good name, huh? Thank you. What's your name? Justin. Shaking hands, introducing himself to customers in a Clintonville yeah. coffee shop, spreading his message. He was working hard. Man. I, you got it, man. He's still not sure whether he won or lost the special election, but either way, Danny O'Connor is still running. We always knew August 8th wouldn't be the uh, vacation day that people uh, think it might be, uh, that we'd be out talking to voters. Um, and I'm glad to be the only campaign that seems to be doing that. O'Connor campaigned as a moderate, hoping to appeal to not only Democrats and independents, but also to Kasich Republicans and disenchanted Trump voters. Volunteer Donna Sinclair says in Delaware County, she found many Republicans willing to cross over, tired of political negativity, and drawn to O'Connor's positive message. It wasn't like you convinced them. They were happy to have somebody that they wanted to vote for. It's not clear how much impact the president's recent visit to Delaware County had on voter support for Troy Balderson. But O'Connor says he's not terribly interested in big-name Washington politicians coming in to campaign for him. He says the most powerful Democrats and independents are the ones who live and work right here. And he says yesterday's results show that message is catching on. We got the best poll we could ever have in the world last night, and it shows that this thing is neck and neck, and uh, we just got to keep sprinting for three months. And, you know, when it's an all-out sprint and you give us three more months, uh, I like our chances. And regardless of the final outcome of the special election, the Danny O'Connor campaign believes that it has momentum, and they believe that that bodes well for them for the November rematch.